to sit there and a bunch of motherfuckers hold a phone up and watch someone get beat to death and don't do nothing. I don't know if she had any friends on that trip. I don't know if she had any friends on that trip. Hey, this is Kenny Green, Raw Perspective, back at you. It's a lot of things going on in the news, you know, and um, I just want to discuss friendships. And we all have them, we claim them. And, you know, just recently, Shanquilla Robinson, rest in peace, you know, God bless her, um, seems to have taken and treated her friends to a Mexico vacation at a beautiful resort, hang out and, you know, share and spread some love. And a disturbing video was released on how she was basically beat to death by her friend. Stomped out tossed all around and this is someone you treated to a Mexico vacation just understand that this just didn't happen this just wasn't like something happened and we addressed it right there some of this attitude this larceny this hate it was in the luggage it was where they came from it was in the luggage it was it was transported with them to Mexico. So understand what I'm saying. These feelings, this attitude existed before they got to Mexico. Sometimes we don't really know what our friends, so-called friends, are feeling about us, about the endeavors we choose to be in, the, the, the successes that we feel they applaud us for. So it's just it's it's a it's a rough ticket. This this situation is a rough ticket because a lot of parents hear their young people, oh I'm going on vacation, I'm going with five of my girlfriends, I'm going with six of my homies, we're gonna be in Mexico, we're gonna be in the Dominican Republic, we traveling, we doing it. But not everybody know the feeling that other people have about you and what you're doing and what they're not doing. So you have to pay a different kind of attention. And a lot of times young people don't carry the wisdom. You know, maybe your, your parent might say, look, it's something about that girl. It's something about that boy. I don't know, I just, you just don't rub me right. Pay attention, pay attention. A lot of us, Sometimes we, man, my father like this, he too extra, my mother, she just doing too much. But they already been where you at. They probably had friends hating on them already. So they know what it looks like. You knew in the game. And you got to figure, they got your best interest. My father used to say to me, if I can get through my life, my life, with one real friend, I'm a blessed man. I was like, man, I got a bunch of friends. I got, I got, man, I got friends all over. But let time keep going. Let life keep happening. And in a lot of cases, some friends do stand up. But you have to know where to put them. Just because you love them and you care about them, you can't put them in every area of your life because they don't fit. You might can come up in a lifestyle that you can handle. That don't mean they can handle it. So don't put them there. Because you're going to get a bad result. So you, you, you got to understand all the dynamics that come with choosing and placement of friends. Even in your relationships, man. Right? Sometimes we do things and we include people. But they didn't sign up for that lifestyle. They didn't sign up to be a part of that. 
You just want them to be down because they say they love you and they're your friend. Don't put people in those kind of situations, predicament, and positions because they might not show up like you want them to. And it doesn't mean they don't care about you. It doesn't mean they don't love you. They just didn't sign up for that part of it. And nobody want to have a conversation first. You find out the hard way. You find out, now you're feeling betrayed. Then when all the time go by and you think about things, you should have never put them in that position. Because in the mature part of this life game, understand, you got to live in your choices. You got to live in your choices, good, bad, and different. It's not going to always feel good. It's not going to always taste good. But it's yours. It's yours. Understand that and know that. So when you're going on vacation with people and you're hanging out with people, there's a certain level of accountability and responsibility you guys are supposed to have for each other because y'all weigh somewhere else. Foreign soil, you're supposed to look out for each other. But sometimes you gotta know that you can be doing some, some great things. You know, a lot of people got ideas. Some people execute and other people can't or won't execute. And they got some feelings about you executing. And it's not gonna come out in some logical conversation. Well, it's not gonna come out like that. It's gonna come out in other ways that you probably can't imagine at this stage in the game because all you see is this is my friend. These are my friends. Could you imagine paying for six of your friends to go on an exotic trip and you're getting beat up and they're filming it, holding the camera and no one will intervene to help? No one will intervene to help. Not everybody's a fighter. Not everybody's a fighter. So sometimes your friends step in for you. Even if they don't fight for you, they absorb some of the bullshit that's happening. No, leave her alone. Leave, leave her alone. Leave him alone. Don't do that no more. Nobody stepped up. So for a lot of you people that's traveling around, moving around in the States, wherever you go, with these friends. Have an idea what you're dealing with. Sometimes it's okay. Ask your parent. Yo, what you think about such and such? What's your opinion about such and such? Because sometimes it's good to ask someone the vibe they get, what they think about a person. You might be missing something. You may be missing something because you don't want to see it. You might be missing it because you don't want to see it. And all I'm saying, man, I, I just had to speak on, on this situation because all of us done traveled places, hung out with places, you know, had words with somebody. Somebody might have cooled it out. You know, you on vacation, fuck that. You got words with somebody. But man, to sit there and a bunch of motherfuckers hold their phone up and watch someone get beat to death and don't do nothing. I don't know if she had any friends on that trip. I don't know if she had any friends on that trip. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to stay on that long because the main thing I just want you know you guys to understand friendships, relationships, you know, and you know the level of expectation that you may have that might not be warranted for the friendship because life is about levels. So maybe your friend is a level six, not a level nine. Maybe they're a level two because we're going to deal with all kinds of people, but we don't have to take them everywhere. We don't have to expose everything to them. We don't have to do everything with them. Because it's okay. Because 
everybody's growing. Some people got to learn, you know, a little later than others. They mature up different times, different places, different situations, you know. But we can't not understand that people will hurt you when they don't like you. And this girl probably wanted friends. She wanted friends. And she probably was doing better financially than most of that group. So she said, I'm gonna foot the bill. I care about all of y'all. I'm gonna foot the bill. I'm gonna foot the bill. Man. Mm. That's raw, man. And that's why I'm talking about a raw perspective because, you know, think about when you was young, male, female, all of us can experience some hate that these 20 something year olds, 18 year olds, a lot of young people and beginning friendships put a lot on the line, a lot on the line for these friendships. But as life progressed, some of you don't even talk to the people in your 30s and 40s that you was willing to put lifetime decisions for in your 20s, in your teens. So pay attention to that. Young people, study life a little bit. Talk to older people. Get opinions. Just because you get an opinion, that don't mean you got to listen to it. But it just opens up the door of your mind to a possibility that you may not be understanding at this time. You know, older people carry a wisdom that sometimes, just listen, just listen, man, just pay attention. Cause that's one of the skill sets that you need to have. Pay attention. You ain't got to always be vocal, but pay attention. When your friend spies out on you, you know what I'm saying? When they just don't have no tolerance for you, no patience for you. Then they clean it up with a smile. I'm just going through a lot. I was just bugging. Might be something behind that. You know what I'm saying? So, man, rest in peace to uh, Miss Robinson. You know, I just wanted to speak on it, man, because it's just crazy. And, you know, unfortunately, it's probably not going to be the last situation. So I'm just speaking about it. You know, not so much that and that, but for young people, man, to be careful when you're choosing your friends and, and, and pay attention to the things that you're probably not paying attention to. All right. So Kenny Green, Raw Perspective, once again, hit them like, subscribe, man. Let's just keep doing this, man. Let's ride. You know, and check out that Diamond District documentary that's coming too. You know what I mean? So we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.